Hi there, and welcome to this introductory video in our series on layers in Corel Paint Shop Pro. Layers are fundamentally important in most photo editing projects and are very popular for their multiple uses. In fact, there are so many ways to use layers that we couldn't possibly cover it all in one video, and that's why we're doing a series. So let's get started. First, we're going to begin with what layers actually are. While in the world of photo editing software, layers are any editable content including photos, text, or objects that appear on top of a background. If you find the concept complicated, picture how animation is done. When you see a cartoon character on the screen, the entire image that you see actually consists of multiple layers of acetate cells. The sky or the mountains behind it is usually a painting, and it doesn't change, and everything else is layered on top, hence the name layers. If you want to paste an image of a person with a transparent background on top of a photo from another location, so that it looks like they're standing in a different place, the same technique is applied. So where can you see layers in PaintShop Pro? Well, in order to view or work with layers, you'll need to have the Layers palette open. And this is what the Layers palette looks like. Now if you don't see it, simply hit the F8 key on your keyboard and it'll pop up. You can also open it by going to the View menu, highlighting Palettes, and then clicking on Layers. As soon as you open a photo or a new project in PaintShop Pro, a single layer will appear there, and it'll be called Background. Now background layers can't have a transparency, so if you plan to erase that sky behind your butterfly there, you're going to need to change this layer so that it's no longer called Background. To do that, Right-click on the thumbnail, select Promote Background Layer, and you're ready to rock. So you'll notice that now this layer has been called Raster 1, and basically what this means is that it is, as it's called, a raster layer. A raster image consists of pixels, so an example of a raster image would be a photo or a picture tube, for example. And the number 1 just means that it's the first raster layer that you've created thus far in this project. The other types of layers that you're likely going to see here are vector layers and art media layers. Vector layers are used for objects such as shapes or text, and those are objects that can be resized at any time without losing any quality. Art media layers are used for paint brushes, and when a painting is complete, it has to be changed into a raster layer to continue. Then you'll be able to use other tools on them. We'll go into more details on how those tools work in other tutorials, but this is just a basic overview. Now we're going to take a look at how you create layers. There are many ways to create layers in a project, as you probably already guessed, and it really depends on what you're using them for. The simplest way to create a new layer is to click on the Layers menu at the top of the screen, and then select Create New Raster Layer or Create New Vector Layer, and so on. This is useful if you plan to add some picture tubes or text over your photo. If you have one photo and you want to incorporate it into another photo, you can simply copy the first or the second image, and then go on to the other image and select Paste as New Layer from the Edit menu. This will automatically paste the second image as its own layer on top of the first image, and this is great for if you're making a collage or doing a background replacement. Another very popular use for layers is duplicating, and of course you can right click on any layer in the Layers palette and select Duplicate. What this will do is place a copy of that content one layer up. A lot of the time duplication is used so that if there's an issue during editing you can leave the background intact, and it's also great for doing before and afters to check your work. Sometimes a layer will automatically be created in a situation that requires it. So, for example, you can't apply text to a raster layer, and therefore, if you click on the text tool and then you click on your image, PaintShop Pro will immediately create a vector layer onto it for the text to be applied. Later, you can merge those layers or convert the text into a raster layer, but at that point, you'll no longer be able to edit it as text. So make sure you're happy with that font and the spelling before you consider merging it or changing your text to a raster. 
Now let's take a look at when you would actually use layers in a project. Well, layers can be used for just about any project, from the simplest concept of preserving your background to a 15-piece collage full of effects, colors, and objects. Layers are by far one of the most important aspects of photo editing that you will ever learn. In our next video, we're going to go into the various tools and options that you'll see layers being used in and how they can be used when you're working with PaintShop Pro. Thank you for watching, and as always, visit learn.coral.com for tons of video and written tutorials, contests, tips, ebooks, and more.